here for a couple of minutes. Um, you're very welcome here to Lenny Kilbrain for the fifth and final night of the drama. It's been a massive success. And um, that's down to you because of the turnout and of course the people doing the theatre up here on the stage. Um, just a couple of things, look, a uh, bit of housekeeping. An exit here to my left. Anyone that don't know the place, the toilets are, are out here to the left in the game. We have an exit at the back. The exit down here to the left is not open, okay? So it's only the back one and the side one here. Um, I thought, look, this is a three act play by Jimmy Cleary, I'm the one for you. There's a couple of scenes where the lights go down, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's a break, okay? We'll have a break after about an hour and five or ten minutes. The house lights will come on when we have to break, okay? You'll see the lights going down. Um, no flash photography, videoing, and um, while, while the show was on, if you could just remain in your seats if you can and talk to the phones and silent. Um, and that's basically it. We'll, um, we'll drive on with it and um, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thanks very much. Do you know, since all these 
young ones that are living in sin. I hardly ever get a day out anymore. I say it's just cheaper, Jerry. Did you ever think of living in sin? Oh, then yes, I had, Dory. Well, we never thought of it in old days. Well, you wouldn't anyway, but with your man, Father Dogan, giving us off the altar about fornication and the like. Your Honor, I didn't even know what it meant. But it sounded like a lot of fun, Jerry, so I did. Didn't I try to look it up in the dictionary one time, but I couldn't even spell it. I could be some more time. Um, I'm sorry about the mess. But like I said, I didn't think of you know for me. Tell us a lovely dog. Wouldn't that be like buying a dog and, and backing yourself? <laughs> Fine, handsome man. Even to hang over. <laughs>
dead, you only had a few minerals. That's all, that's all. Minerals? My God, you didn't know what any minerals are. I ever seen when you hate them. So, what do you do the first one to pass out? This gets worse. You ever get out, you bloody idiot? All right, you're queer. I need one hand. We'll go for it. You might be in there. I can manage. I'll do it myself. Quite a way we go. If you're looking for me, I won't be too far away again. You wouldn't want to take much notice of what Anthony says. No, sure. He exaggerates. So he does. Well, I know my father. I know how stupid he can be. You're a little relaxed and had a small mature. Loving Lord God, the man. Friends over last night. A couple of games of cards and a few bottles of beer. Sure. Where the name of God is the harm in that? I bet you were up and carried home legless after the pub closed. <laughs> well, all right, maybe not. <laughs> if you haven't, well, we certainly <laughs> have. <laughs> Why don't you go out of the old no and point? In these good shoes? I don't think so. Aye, uh, please yourself. God, that man is never where he's supposed to be. You know, as we're standing there doing nothing, you know what you do? You can bring the old table back here. Uh, we got a jack was after moving it. Move it over here. Can't you manage yourself? It's a table and a few chairs. Oh, no. I would. I would back. Taking great. Uh, ever since the time that uh, I said the story said it, when we were dating, <laughs> used to we do our, our, our bit of courting. I go up and eat John Cotton's hay shit. This is the hay shit. We were up there one night, going for gold, as they said. <laughs> Dick and old Tomcat, he goes in our merciful squeal of him in the corner. I got such a fright, I, I jumped up uh, and something snapped. <laughs> and what <pardon> my elastic. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean all that detail. Come on, we'll snap the table. Over here. Here they are. The, the chair, not this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Will you push over that old arm chair there? Oh, 
My house is just across the road from the church here, all right, thanks, like, Timmy Cody's house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but he's not married at all. Do you know what he is? Can I get you a drink or something? No, thanks, I'm fine. You sit down here now and talk to me. Hey. <coughs> Do you know, Jerry? <coughs> I've been looking for a willing farmer for some time now. You have? And I was decided that that charming little tea house <coughs> that your daughter runs. Oh, she's a lovely girl. I'm so proud of her. Oh, yeah. Anyway, <coughs> I was telling her about my little problem, and she suggested that I come and see you. Me? What, 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 what's your little problem? I need a, a <coughs> flashback, Laurie. Oh, what do you mean a flat bed, Laurie? I do, but it's actually off the road at the moment with a steering problem. Oh, don't you get it fixed? I mean, the ICA is relying on you. The ICA? Oh, yes. The Guild is 50 years old in two weeks' time, and our anniversary is coinciding with the Biantana Festival in town. Oh, there'll be a parade of local businesses and organisations through the town, and we're going to put on a live display commemorating our 50 years. That's why I need your lorry. So the sooner you get it fixed now, better. <laughs> Otherwise, you could all end up with a cadet. <laughs> you know, what to do. Oh, yes, Captain. I'm only joking. I'll get it fixed. So who will uh, be trading the lorry? Oh, you and I call. Well, see, we. Right. Um, sure, I suppose, uh, as long as I won't have to dress up as a woman. I can see it'll be all right now if you are. Ah, uh, well, not a damn right now. I will get spooked up a bit. There is nothing wrong with good, honest toilet. Do you know <coughs> that my father was a farmer on the Cork Tipperary border? He had a few hundred acres or so. <coughs> but I see you have big, strong farmer hands, just like my father's. Oh. Yeah, they're all right. But you know, they're a bit of a nuisance when I train the couple of boy. I mean, uh, <laughs> there are new sort of zips and things. Uh, look, I, I hope it wasn't made for the break. Oh, God, I hope not. Somehow the guilt will blame me for it. Oh, oh, I'm so relieved that this is over. Why? Sure, I didn't know how you'd react. I didn't even know if you knew me or not. Sure, I've only been around you six months or so. Ah, sure, I see no walk inside things. I want you in a supermarket if you tell you that I was after you. She would have picked a Oh, Jerry, you're one of nature's gentlemen. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> almighty, Jerry. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
hội And hearing him talking all fool to that one, I won't be able to look at any grog for the rest of the day. There you are. What the hell do you carry like that for? Carry on like what now, Jerry? I refuse big bowl of cup of tea. It's just a thank you. I mean, your coffee went into your breakfast so earlier. You welcome did. Why would you make poor old a simple cup of tea? Well, I have my reasons, so I, I do, do, Jerry. What reasons? Well, I'll tell you something now for nothing. Uh, number one, she's nothing but an old blow in, so she is. But number two, isn't she a, a divorcee? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so I told her about women. Look around it. Oh my God, I don't agree with you now, so I don't. <laughs> Not at all. Never, never, never did I even think about leaving my son in. And now we were married over 25 years. Get our ups and downs, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I can tell you, I never was taught of leaving him. No. <laughs> Not even when I caught him pressed up against that big busty one inside the tree. And he, said, he was only trying to read her name. Tell you no. <laughs>
Oh, look, a few drops to your side. You will probably done like that. I'll be right here. <laughs> Waiting. Oh, 
Allah, Ali I see here, full of stoned women and plateful of bakery cabbage and arsenals and bullshit and carriers. We're not like that, Mr. Carter. Right, you go, we better go. Um, ladies, please, make yourselves at home. Dad should be in charge of the to Eleanor. You need any of those carriers shifted? I remain. You go, let's go.
Cleo. She has a terrible temper. Morning. I have no interest in Dari Simmons. Whatsoever. You both have married eyes by now. And she is way too much woman for you. <coughs> like I said, get her down gently. She has the most awful <coughs> temper you ever saw. Mona, I, I saw you. I don't know if I'm going to get me at all. Sure, if I go on that way, I'll give me Jack O'Dowd. And your Jack O'Dowd is friendly with Dari. And you'll be content, Dari. And then I'd be in the most awful trouble altogether. Because then I told you she has a terrible temper. And you'll see each other.
to your toad hobbling like these biscuits. <laughs> Do you trick to them with my messy wall stairs? God damn it, I'm shot. What the hell does it mean to you? Wouldn't you like to know now what's got me Temmy Jack or down? And I, and I slaving away here, <coughs> day in, day out, without a word of thanks from anyone. And I come in, and I don't waste them all in. Find a hot bar. <laughs> Standing in front of me, but I'm practically naked. And you go and bloody ruin it all, so you do. Well, no. Darling. Well, no, darling. If it's a mess. Do me one favor, would you? Depends. You, 
You never pose for me, would you? I'll never quit the town and all if you want to. Yeah. Just so I could get a, a phone <coughs> on my phone. I do not. I do not. This is what this is. Listen, you come here and you will clean it for you. That's all. That's all? That's all? Listen here now, Jerry O'Malley. You see this? In this a, a hat. Bid for two, so it is. Barry, I think you and I better have a long talk. I'd say we should. Uh, 
That's it. Here's your conversation, so ladies. I'll just hit the road. No. 
own head is in his head, so it is. Jesus, Mona, wouldn't you think that he wouldn't have been wearing a towel in his own house? Like? <laughs>
got the poem not mixed up. <laughs> so I got the woman for Ruth and vice versa. Ruth said she wouldn't open hers until I was gone. Oh, I didn't even write the name of the leader then. I was in such a hurry. What are we going to do?
complicated. Same way about me, so he does. 
if you don't believe me, look. <laughs> Take one look at that. Now, go on. Put on your own glasses there and you look at that. <laughs> no, Dari. There's not a lot of romance there. And look, it's not even addressed to anyone. You are deluded. Deluded, am I? Take another look there now. Put on the glasses there again and take another look. Do uh, you not recognise your own daddy's handwriting?
want it to be. It's easy to do, is it? No. Now you're a fierce tin burner. And then she'll boil her for the last few days and she'll have the car. And when you come in, though, because I've got to take a few minutes ago. Well, she's only got to go to the shop for a drop of milk. No. She'll be back again so soon. And does your black boy have anything to do with this mess? Uh, well, sort of. You see, look, Jack went out and he died. And when he found out that it was supposed to be taken to the target, he punched you. He did. But he was right when he punched up. My God, my father, Brawley, over the likes of Darry Sillis. Do you realize the reputation that woman had over here a few years ago? She spent more time outside the dance house than in them. <laughs> you know well there's no smoke without fire. How am I ever going to show my face around here again? It's all about you, isn't it? Well, I run a business, and I care what people think about me. I'm almost afraid to ask you. But the car that Darry got, who has it been for? Uh, for uh, Ruth Hickey. Ruth, Ruth Hickey? God, this just gets worse. <laughs> Why? A woman like Ruth would have nothing in common with a man like you. She's cultured and refined. What has gotten into you lately, Dad? When are you going to stop acting the clown and just grow old gracefully? Thanks, Senator. Thank you very much. But you know what, now? I'll just go out to the muck and dirt for you to I didn't mean to say. God. Come on, let's get Thank you. 
need to have a walk with children. My wife is around. And there's a, there's a cleaner here too. What can I say? I don't really should see her. Really talks about girlfriend, that, you know. I'm Billy's right hand man. Now. I built the water. I put the most men in hospital in the last six months. Do you like the soup? <coughs> so Frankie, is that... Yeah, I got it off the fella. Let's say he don't need it anymore. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put it on. He laid an awful emotion. Let's say, she did. She always liked me. She said I'd make great on the take off.
You're definitely your father's daughter, so you have. Oh, thank you. Sorry, are. thank you. And Jerry, I know you didn't want to take me to Calamity, did you? That car wasn't meant for me, was it? Sorry, no. It is all right. You need to mind if it's so worried. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> now I was tempted there for a while, but uh, <laughs> Yeah. 
Sorry, I have really to tell you, there'll be some Akali news. Relax, relax, relax. Look, I just want to take a minute. Look. As much as I hate to admit it. Mona was right. It wouldn't have worked between yourself and myself at all. No, so it wouldn't. I mean, Jack. Jack is so alive. So he is. <laughs> God, he is. Haven't I uh, spent the last few nights over at his place? I haven't had a wink of sleep. He's very tired, so. Oh, he still has it, you know. That's what? The magic touch. <laughs> Should they 
would not piss him off from a prize rose. <laughs> and I do it for you and the merry divorcee. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, everyone. Um, I think they're all brilliant, Wanda. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> quite, quite nice. Quite nice to meet you guys. Fantastic. So I think it's really nice to, to meet the, the cast. Um, it's Patrick, Ashley O'Sullivan, and Harley O'Reilly. <laughs> Thank you.